I'm happy to be here, happy to get out of my house. I don't leave very often. I'm a big Postmate guy. I Postmate twice a day, every day. I don't even think my neighbors ever see me. They just see a naked man raccoon handing cheeseburgers at 3 a.m. You want to try something hard? Try grabbing your meal, soda, and guarding your genitals. Not easy to do, folks. Postmates fuck me up, man, because it's so expensive. I don't even know what things cost anymore. My buddy was like, I spent $100 on a tank of gas. I was like, I spent 70 on yogurt last night. <laughs> supposed to be frozen, came as yogurt. <laughs> I got a Postmate, though, just moved. Top floor of my apartment building, fifth floor, top floor, just got ants. I don't know how they did it. I'm gonna be honest with you, folks. It's pretty impressive for an ant to go five human stories. <laughs> I have trouble climbing those stairs. A fucking ant did it? <laughs> I did the math. For an ant to climb five human stories would be the equivalent of a human climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Could you imagine being at the base of Mount Kilimanjaro, looking up and being like, I think there's a cookie up there. <laughs> Let's get the whole town. Bring everybody I've ever met. <laughs> They've got cookies on Kilimanjaro. We gotta go! Oh. oh, man, gas is getting out of control. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to be rich in my life. I just want to one day be able to afford Shell gasoline. Like, who are they pricing that for? The Illuminati? I've never even seen someone in a Shell gasoline. I feel like every year gas companies get together like, hey, we're gonna do about three to five dollars for a gallon. Shell's like, 750, suck my dick. <laughs> I just ruined your forest, ruined your ocean, 750. I know what neighborhoods I can go into by the gas stations. Cause I live my life, Arco to Arco. <laughs> if that gas station don't sell hot dogs, I have priced myself out of that neighborhood. <laughs> Oh, man, you guys are a great crowd. I got to be honest, I'm a little out of it right now. Uh, I actually woke up about an hour and a half ago. Um, yeah, I made the mistake of having two soups for lunch. You ever done that? <laughs> That'll fuck up your day, folks. I had no idea. You think Oxycontin's bad? Try having two soups for lunch, okay? Passed out for five hours. Woke up bewildered and confused. Almost as confused as the waiter when I ordered two soups for lunch. I don't think he's ever heard someone say that sentence before. He was like, two soups, okay, okay, okay. Like one and then the other? I'm like, same time, playboy. <laughs> oh! I want a minestrone and a chowder. I want the whole spectrum. Listen, folks, I'm gonna talk about soup for the next three to four minutes, okay? It's gonna happen. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. Because I'm a self-diagnosed soup head. I'll eat soup any time of day. In any place. If you boil something right now and gave me a spoon, I'll sip it. I'll sip it once. <laughs> this is not even a bit. Sue fucked up my life so bad, I started fucking with bone broth. Anyone taking that dark turn in their lives? I've done cocaine and heroin. Bone broth is the most expensive thing I've ever put in my body. <laughs> I'm like, what's an eight ball of bone broth going for these days? God dang. If you guys don't know about bone broth, okay, they start to boil bones. You drink it. It's supposed to make you look young. $25 a pint. I ain't got that kind of cash, dog, so I said, forget it, you know? So I bought an Instant Pot. You guys know what Instant Pot is? Instant Pot does what a crock pot does in eight hours. Instant Pot does in 45 minutes. Now, does anyone here know the number one problem with making bone broth? Accumulating bones. Not easy to do, folks. Fridge looks like I'm fucking Jeffrey Dahmer. It's disgusting. <laughs> I got a femur where my butter goes. I'm losing control. <laughs> the problem is my bone intake, okay? Not equaling my broth outtake, okay? <laughs> Drinking too much, not getting bones in. So I said, fuck it, man. I got to find the plug, right? So I pulled up to... <laughs> so I pulled up to the Rouse and LeBray and found... I went straight to the butcher. I was like, hey! 
you got any bones? <laughs> kind of want to make a soup so I can look young like a troll or a witch would do. <laughs> and this is what he told me. It's a true story. This is what he goes. He goes, we don't got bones here. You got to go to an Asian supermarket. <laughs> If you want bones, I was like, okay. Didn't have to say Asian like that, but all right, man. <laughs> I went to an Asian supermarket. I was like, hey, do you guys have bones? They're like, we have turtles in a bucket. Of course we have bones. <laughs> what kind of dumbass question was that? You thought we'd skip bones on our way to turtles in a bucket? <laughs> if you guys don't know, the best soup ingredients are number one, bones. Number two, Turtles in a bucket. <laughs> Number three, gelatinous blood. And if you didn't laugh at that, you've never gotten drunk at an H Mart before. I like to pick up girls by the bond, Sean. <laughs> Teach me about Goju Jan, girl. You cute as hell. <laughs> Y'all really buried the kimchi? Put your number on my phone. Let me learn something. Oh, man. I had one of the most embarrassing moments of my life last week. This is a true story. Um, I have recently entered the kimono era of my life. Yeah, that's where I get home, immediately butt naked into a kimono. Yeah, you guys aren't doing that. You're not doing nearly enough mushrooms. I'll tell you that much right now. It's eye-opening. Only problem is my girlfriend hates it, uh, mainly because I messed up and accidentally bought a woman's kimono. Anyone here familiar with kimonos in here? Okay. Uh, man kimono, okay. Right about here. Pretty nice. Pretty respectable, you know, that's fun. Uh, a woman's kimono, right about here. <laughs> My balls are popping out like they're about to call the cops on a neighbor. They're just like. <laughs> are they barbecuing past 10 p.m., Steven? <laughs> Anyone up on their kimono game? Anyone in their kimono era in here? Anyone fuck one kimonos? Yeah, you like kimonos? What do you think is the most important part of a kimono? The what? The sash. The sash, okay, that, you mean the belt? Gotta get it. Yes, the belt is the most important part of a kimono because it adds structural integrity to the whole operation, okay? I cheaped out, got a kimono with no belt. <laughs> I'm holding it together like a hospice patient looking for the nurse that stole my pills. I'm like, I think, I think it was Esmeralda. I, know, I, haven't, I haven't seen her. That's not the embarrassing part, okay? That's just life. Me and my girlfriend matching kimonos, that's just what we do, okay? Like I said earlier, I don't like to get, I don't like to go out no more so we get everything delivered. So we start doing Instacart, okay? This is where everything went wrong. Uh, my girlfriend goes, the Instacart guy is here, okay? I hear the Instacart is here, okay? So I opened the door. <laughs> clutching my pearls like Aunt B. Balls billowing in the wind. And I make eye contact with this 20-year-old kid who laughs in my face. And then he goes, I'm sorry, ma'am. And then he bowed out of the hallway. So. Been a rough week for me. All right, guys, my name is Steve Ferry. Thank